Now, Egypt has executed nine people who were convicted of assassinating a top prosecutor. All were found guilty of taking part in the bombing that killed Hisham Barakat in 2015. Six others had their death sentences commuted to life in prison. The government blamed the attack on the Muslim Brotherhood and Gaza-based Hamas, but both have denied involvement. Hussein Baumi is an Egypt researcher at Amnesty International. He's based in Tunis, in Tunisia. He says death sentences are handed out despite prisoners being tortured into confessions. It will always be a monument of shame for the Egyptian authorities to have executed men uh, after a completely arbitrary trial, completely unfair trial where, uh, where people were convicted based on confessions that were extracted uh, under torture were extracted while some of them were forcibly disappeared uh, and where the defendants were not afforded any sort of uh, fair trial or recourse to defend themselves properly. So it will always be a monument uh, of shame for the Egyptian authorities and uh, and it really falls uh, all apart in the ongoing uh, execution sprays that the Egyptian authorities have been going through. So because this is the 15th, uh, this is the 15 men that have been executed uh, in less than a month uh, in 2019, basically. Uh, so the international community must speak uh, strongly and very strongly about the ongoing execution spree because uh, if they do not uh, talk, if they do not speak out against this execution spree, then we fear that more and more executions will continue to happen and that the Egyptian authorities will not uh, be deterred from uh, from conducting more executions after unfair trials um, and uh, basically when we say international community. Uh, we are referring specifically to uh, allies of Egypt uh, in the European Union, allies of Egypt uh, in the US, uh, and as well as, well as uh, United Nations uh, and the European Union as an institution. So.